Hi, my name is Henry, and uh, I got this stuff I didn't write, but I'm going to read to you anyway. It was given to me by a huge record co corporation. No, really. <clears throat> I saw the Rock Wars on TV last night. Now, those people are just ridiculous. Giving out a trophy for music? I mean, what do you do with it? Put it on the mantle next to the bowling trophy? They had a few to the few of the artists performed live. One of them was Prince. Is this guy for real? I thought he was gonna cry. He kicked over the mic stand, dude. Probably ruined the $300 plus Sennheiser cordless mic. Hey man, this is rock and roll and we don't care. Not us. Hell no. Okay, fine. They gave out trophies for the best male video. The choice was between Prince and Bruce Springsteen. I forget who won, but it would have been a lot more fun if it was a tie and the Boston Prince duped it out on stage. I think Springsteen would have kicked the Prince's purple butt all the way back to the Warner Brothers main office, dude. Hey, I saw John Cougar bone Huey Lewis and the news just looked on. I tell you, this rock and roll business tough stuff living on the edge all the time. I mean, could you, would you? Perceiving vanity, self-inflicted, selfishly endured imposes a long desperate quest i stand up naked as vacant only to become your theater let simplicity be the revival then i will tell you i feel your loneliness okay this this next one is about two friends and that grew up grew up together and meet each other years, years later, but not recognizing each other, not wanting to. It's called success and failure. It was a delicate moment when I saw you again. During a leap year summer, your presence drew in the flies of success that squandered about in a ritual fashion leaving no doubt, yeah, you were a hit. It was plain to see, from a busy boulevard to a hidden street where I prayed lightly and weaved my path, raising no question as to how I survived the aftermath. But I see no reason to covet, because I'm just thinking it all seems so amusing, failure and success. We used to laugh about the day when we would meet again. And you said I'd end up on some park bench. Oh, that's exactly where I'm at now. And I'll stay unnoticed and wonder how. You've bargained your way through the packs that have bled you with no thoughts of what they made you. Success has sown a hand to your back, but who paid what price for the paths we traveled? Yes, I see no reason to covet, as I'm just thinking it all seems so amusing, failure and success. Yes, my name is Chuck Dukowski. That's D as in die, U-K-O-W-S-K-I, all right? And here we are. And um, I wanted to run down a couple of raps here. One of them goes like this. Time is life, and life is time. And the child from the marriage is value. And here's another one. The enemy is the past and history condemns moderation. Life condemns history to the death, and so the past must fight to the death. Now here's something that um, I wrote. It's an interesting thing to me, maybe not you. I came home. The wisdom of my years told me that the extent of my failure, a dollar here, a dollar there, what about the promises that were broken? Tomorrow's dawn brings a grim reality, a reality that spills the end of me. I walked from the couch to the refrigerator, opened it, closed it, turned and walked to the window. I thought of all the love I'd shared and how my sweets had all turned bitter. 
I opened the window and looked outside, the building across, the ants below, the ants. Uh, their lives are so neat and orderly. Everybody's got his place. There's no outcast there, not like me. Maybe that's because, because one day a foot could stamp the life out of me. And when I jumped, I hardly believed I'd done it. But soon I'd confirmed my suspicions that I was falling past the windows to my death on the street below. It presented itself as a mathematical certainty. Turn me off or cut me. Turn me off or just cut me. Just take my mind off my mind. Now, there's this crazy man with vacuums in his eyes. He says he can hear the sunrise. Says it makes him a bit off balance. Says it makes his soul scream. 